Hello dear friends, Rob Greenfield here and I'm making this video today because I know a lot of you are sitting at home in some very difficult times in isolation uh, because of the current situation that many of us are in all over the entire world and my heart and uh, my love goes out to all of you. These are absolute difficult times and, and, I'm, and I'm here with you. And I wanted to uh, really share this video because I think for a lot of us this is an opportunity to actually improve our lives. I think this can be an opportunity for a lot of us to actually set ourselves on a path of living more in alignment with our beliefs, setting our actions in alignment with our beliefs and living the way that we've been maybe yearning for and striving for, for for years or for some of us decades. And so the focus of this video today is things that you can do to use your time wisely in the current situation that we're in, but not just use this time, but actually come out of this situation possibly better than you went into it. How you can actually walk away from here having set your life in the path that you're that you're striving for. And so I want to share about 10 or 15 different uh, ideas that I have, have for you. So first of all, one of them I'd like to share with you is growing some of your own food. Millions of people right now are waking up and realizing that they want their food to be growing right there at home, in their communities, and not having to be shipped from far around the world. So some of us who have access to our yards and who can order seeds online or already have some seeds at home can start growing some of our own food. Now, some of us are in a little more of a difficult situation where we might not be able to uh, have access to a garden. But you might be able to order seeds online and get some basic soil and start growing a little bit of food in pots on your balcony or in your windowsill. So this is a time when we can start connecting with our food, start growing some of our own food, and start gaining independence from the global industrial food system. Along that same note, the next one is foraging. There's food growing freely and abundantly all around us. And what's amazing is that a lot of us have food growing right in our yards, in our front yards, in our backyards, in the abandoned lots next door, along the sidewalk, on our walks to the grocery store, um, there's food growing freely and abundantly all around us. So one thing that we can do during this time is learn the foods that are growing in the area. You could pick up some foraging books. Um, you can order those online or pick them up at a library if there's a library open still. But there's a lot of foraging resources online as well. So foraging is something, um, learning the plants of your area. Another thing that we can do during this time that you can do during to, that you can do during this time is um, be of service. So there are a lot of people in need right now. I mean, let's be honest. There's a lot of people in need always, and so now is a time when you can be of service to people in whatever way that is. If you're, if possible, maybe you could be delivering groceries to an elder who's not able to go out themselves. Um, so figure out ways that you can be of service. There's a lot of ways that you can be of service without leaving your house through the computer or through the phone. You could be um, giving people comfort calls and checking in with them. Um, if you have a skill, maybe you're a, a psychologist, you could be helping people over the phone instead. So think about it. Brainstorm. What are your skills and how can you be of service to people during these difficult times and, and all the time? Now this is also a time when you can be of service to yourself as well. And one of the ways that you can be of service to yourself is to educate yourself. This is an amazing time to gain knowledge that you've been wanting to gain. Um, a lot of people are very interested that follow this channel in permaculture. And you can actually earn your permaculture design certificate online. And you can do it in a matter of a couple weeks. So imagine that this situation that we're in, you're able to walk out of it with a permaculture design certificate, extremely knowledgeable on permaculture. And that's just one thing. There's many things that you can educate yourself on. What is it that you've been really wanting to 
educate yourself on and you can take this time to do that. Another thing you can do right now is you can build skills. There's a lot of skills that we can develop at home. Um, just as a few things to come to mind, it could be repairing. Maybe you want to learn how to sew. Uh, it could be craft work, knitting for example. Or maybe it's something like art. Maybe it's woodwork. Uh, maybe you have a garage with some tools. Um, there are a lot of skills that we can learn. There's also computer-based skills. Maybe you want to be able to design websites to help people with sustainability who have ideas that you want to help get out there. So this is a time that we can learn skills. Another thing is a language. Maybe you've been wanting to learn a language. This is another beautiful time to be able to do that. And you could do some of that via uh, face calls with people who speak that language and at the same time have some, um, have some connection in that way. A really important thing to do is, is just to maintain. If we want to come out of this situation actually better than we went into it, then we have to take care of ourselves and we have to maintain ourselves and not let ourselves slip away. So some physical activity. If you're in a place where you can still go for a walk, that's something that I would, that I would highly recommend and encourage is just getting out, going for a walk and being able to do that in a safe way. If you aren't able to even get outside and go for a walk, then at home um, you can make sure that you, there's yoga is something that you can do in small spaces, right in an apartment or a house. Just basic stretching. I mean, a lot of the stretching that I do, people would maybe call it yoga, but I was stretching long before I ever did any kind of yoga. And just basic stretching. Oh, I mean, I don't want to stop. This already feels so good. Um, and along that, you know, some physical movement, the other thing is our, our minds. So we have to take care of our bodies. Oh, along that lines, this is a, a wonderful time to be able to eat healthy. Could be an option to build good eating patterns, which could be difficult, but, uh, making sure to take care of ourselves, eating healthy during this time will help with our mental clarity and, um, depression and things like that, really helpful to eat healthy. Um, so along the lines of that is also meditating or breath work. So taking care of ourselves mentally and some basic meditation goes a long way. You don't have to be, you don't have to be good at meditating. Just taking the time to sit. I was just about to cross my legs because that's what I generally do, but you don't even have to do that. And just taking a little bit of time. And something that I love to do myself that really grounds me is doing 10 ohms a day. And I'm not especially good at ohms, but I'm going to do one just to show you. Oh. Just, just once, I feel that. The difference it makes and just the peacefulness that I feel from just doing that once. And again, you don't have to be good. It just has to feel good. That's all that matters. Along, along the same lines, though, is just breathing. Just deep breathing. Just... And if every hour you can just do 10 deep breaths... That makes such a huge difference. And for others who have skill in that already, who have done a lot of that, you can go deeper. Deeper with your, your meditation and with your breath work and deeper within yourself. That is a very positive way to use this time and to, to work forward. This is also a time to expand our minds. There are many ways to expand minds. For some people, that could be that this is a beautiful time to... Uh, work with plant medicines to, to expand our minds. Um, but for other people, it could be, it could be just basic um, breath work and meditation, going within um, a time to really self-reflect. There are many ways to, to expand our minds. Education is another one. 
Um, so that's a beautiful way to spend this time. Now, back to some more, you know, physical things. Um, if you are not really happy with your house, then this is a beautiful time to downsize, decl declutter, and organize. Imagine that, you know, once we're able to go out into the world again, imagine that your house is the way you've wanted it for years, that you've managed to organize it and declutter it and downsize your life and get rid of all the stuff that's not serving you. And sure, at the moment, you might not be able to get rid of everything, but you could pack it all up and have it ready to be able to donate and, and distribute after, you know, we're out of this situation. But imagine having your house really be comfortable and the way that you want it, where you can use the space well and, and really be efficient with it. So it's a beautiful time to, uh, to downsize, declutter, and, uh, and simplify. Another wonderful thing to do right now is finish projects. So you might have projects that you've been working on for month, weeks, months, years, and maybe this is a time when you could finish those projects so that when, you're, when we're done with this situation, when we're out of it, you have created that free time to be present and in the moment because you've finished these things that were sort of holding you back, these projects that you've been trying to finish. So finishing up those projects is a, a wonderful thing. And then a couple more things. This is a beautiful time to strengthen relationships. It can be a time to strengthen relationships with ourselves, but a beautiful time to strengthen relationships with others. A lot of us are, you know, kind of locked down with a couple of people or a few people. It could be our families, our roommates. This is a beautiful time to choose to really nurture those relationships. Go deep into them and have discussions that are needed to make sure that the relationships are serving everybody in their best interest and um, really, you know, expressing your care and your love and your commitment to those relationships and, and iron, ironing things out, working things out that need to be. So, you know, strengthening, strengthening relationships. And another, you know, meaningful thing to set forward could be using this as an opportunity to, to either say sorry. If there's people that you feel like deserve an apology for things that you've done wrong, this could be a beautiful time to, gust, you know, muster up that strength and say sorry and apologize to people uh, who deserve it. And for, on a personal level, for you, this could also be an amazing time to forgive. And forgiving can be beneficial to the person you forgive, but really, forgiving is, is for yourself. If you're holding on to things that are holding you back and holding you down, forgiving is one of the best gives that, gifts that you can give to yourself by, by releasing that and not letting that hurt continue to hurt you. So this is a, an amazing time to forgive. So... I just wanted to share those with you. I, I, I'm personally here in southern France on lockdown. I'm in this room that I'm staying in. I'm thankful to be next to some woods that I'm able to go out for a walk in every day. It's just some small woods. I've been here for over two weeks and haven't, and I've got to go to the grocery store once. But I am choosing to do a lot of what I just described. Use this as a time to really uh, be of service, to you know, connect with people. For me, I'm using this as a time to really catch up on some things that I've been wanting to do. And so I'm using this as a beautiful time. And a lot of us lived, live in privileged scenarios where we still do have the ability to. And I'm sure not you can't do all of these things. And it's easy to just look at your situation and, and want to focus on just the negatives. But if you're watching this video, there's a very, very, very good chance that you have the power right now to make positive changes. And the idea of these positive changes is to use this time wisely and actually, again, be able to step out of this in a better place that you went into it. That is how you can turn this negative situation into something positive for you. And again, my heart and my love pours out to people who are really in deeply difficult scenarios because of this. And this is in no way me downplaying that. But for so many of us, this is a time where we can grow and use that as a way to improve the world around us and uh, create more resilient communities, create more resilient selves. So that's it for today. I'll be here producing more videos to help you um, live the lives that you dream, that you desire. 
And uh, if you got a lot out of this video, then definitely share it with friends, definitely subscribe, and go ahead and ask questions in the comment section if you'd like as well. So I love you all very much, and uh, sending my best to you, and see you soon, hopefully for a hug in real life one of these days, not too far off. All right, bye.